Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Fariha and welcome back to Earth Detective. Today we are going to study seven genera of gastropods which are Cypria, Turitella, Oliva, Busicon, Barbarophocus, Trochus and Conus. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. First of all, I want to discuss about Cypria which shell is oval shaped with a dull surface. Body whorl is much larger, spiral whorl almost concealed by body whorl and small portion of spiral whorl is visible at the end. The shell is sinistrally coiled with distinct umbilicus and suture is distinct. Apertures cover the whole shell length. Both inner and outer lips are crenulated and siphonal canal is present at the other ends. Next, this is Turitella, which shell is elongated and conical in shape. Spiral whorl is much longer than the body whorl. Spire is terminated by nuclear whorl and the shell is dextrally coiled. The spire is ornamented by lineation and suture is distinct here. Aperture is rounded in shape and small in size. Now you can see Oliva, which shell is elongated and conical in shape. Its body whorl is longer than its spiral whorl. The shell is dextrally coiled with a distinct umbilicus. Suture is distinct here and aperture is large and elliptical in shape. The sutural and siphonal canal are present. The siphonal canal is long and straight. Next genus is Busicon, which shell is elongated and conical. Body whorl is much bigger than spiral whorl. Spiral whorl is terminated by the nuclear whorl. Coiling is dextral in nature and suture is distinct. Here sutural canal and uh, siphonal canal are distinctly present. Aperture is large and elliptical. The outer lip is entire thin and sharp. Umbilicus is distinct and callus is present and bite. Then this is Barbarophocus, which shell is elongated and conical in shape. Body whorl is much longer than spiral whorl. Spire is terminated by nuclear whorl and the shell is dextrally coiled with a distinct umbilicus. Suture is distinct here and uh, aperture is large and elliptical in shape. The sutural canal and siphonal canal is present there. Now you can see trochus in your screen which shell is cone shaped with a flat base. Body whorl is distinctly smaller than its spiral whorl. Spiral whorl is terminated by a nuclear whorl. Here aperture is curved and outer lip is sharp edged. Lastly, this is conus, which shell is elongated and conical in shape. Its body whorl is much larger than its spiral whorl. Here, spiral whorl is terminated by nuclear whorl. Dextral coiling is present and aperture is long. Here, sutural and siphonal canals are distinct. The outer lip and inner lip are seen and surface is smooth here. If this video seems helpful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.